Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, I wanted to clarify something I said yesterday about sending me your favorite songs that we can do either on a Motivation Monday, our favorite playlist song, or, um, you know, that you might want to hear. And I meant to send me the title. You don't need to send the link, but just send the title. Um, you can email me at dejclass at gmail.com, um, dejclass at gmail.com. You can put it, put it in the PASW um, discussion chat. If um, I'm calling you this week, um, you can tell me, or those of you who have talked to before, just want to say, hey, Diana, I want to hear this. Um, you know, that, that would be great, because I want to start incorporating more music into our warm-ups, because all the arts work together. Um, we move, you know, you have dance with Lindsay, you have music with Joe and Pascal, and Joe and Alexander, and with Pascal, the dream was spoken word. All of the art, and the thing all these arts have in common is art forms that they tell stories. They're stories. And storytelling goes, we can say storytelling, the art of telling stories, which is literally what we do every day. When you have a conversation with your family and you talk about what you did that day, you're telling the story. And maybe, and it doesn't mean it's not true, it means we share stories with each other all day. We talk about our day, we talk about our wishes, we talk about our dreams. Those are actually stories that we share, and films are stories. Every time you see a film, that's telling the story. Every time you hear a song, it's telling the story. Dance is another way to tell a story. Spoken word is another way to tell a story. All of these art forms have in common. You can meet the best. They can meet the best is David talking to another artist, sharing stories. And all of these stories, the art of storytelling goes way back, and not even to ancient Greece, but to prehistoric, what we would call prehistoric man, prehistoric stories. Um, you know, what you might think of as cavemen, or they told stories. They didn't necessarily, cavemen and cavewomen, they told stories. They didn't necessarily have a written language. In fact, storytelling comes as a, as a oral, oral talking. So not all the stories were written down, but they were passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation to generation. Another way people told stories in prehistoric times was through pictures. So we're going to do some storytelling, um, imagining that we are in prehistoric times. That's even before ancient Greece. That's when they had um, cavemen, people who lived in caves, um, what, what we might refer to as prehistoric men or prehistoric women or people who lived in caves. So we're going to do that, but before we do that, we're going to do a little warm-up, okay? And this is called the dinosaur. Um, what is that? Cool dinosaur music. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, let's start with our shoulders. Up. Down. Up. Down. And rise. Down. And reach. And down. And reach. And down. Because I'm reaching my right arm up. And down. My arm goes straight up. And down. I take my left back and reach up to the sky and bring it down. I'm taking my left arm up to the sky, bring it down. I'm reaching to the sky and bring it down now with both hands. I'm reaching all the way up, bring it down. 
I mean up and, and down elbow. I mean it down when my elbows are bent. Okay, I'm reaching up. I'm being down when my elbows are bent. And now I'm bringing my hands all the way down. Okay? I'm gonna step forward with my right forward. And step forward with my left. So step back with my right and back with my left. Forward with my right, forward with my left, back with my right, back with my left. Forward with my right, forward with my left, back with my right, back with my left. Now I'm gonna bring my hands together like a uh, like a prayer. I'm gonna go forward right, forward left, back right, back left. Forward right, forward up, back right, back left. Bring your hands down, good. And step out to the left, back. Out to the left and back. And out to the left and back. And out to the left and back. And step out to the right, back. Step out to the right and back. And guys, if you're sitting, you can use your hands. Or just move, okay? And out to the right, together. And out to the right, and together. Good, good. Let this shake. We're gonna start with our hands in the um, sky and the shake, shake. And shake it down. I'm going to just shake your hands of what I'm doing. I'm just really shaking my hands. And again, when that energy just vibrate all through my body. Good. Good. I mean, that's just a vocal warm up. You're going to go with the ha. Huh. Okay, and we're going to do a vocal warm up and move. So we're going to step over to the right. So, ha. Huh. So we're stepping over to the right. And bringing our hands together and clapping and saying ha. Ha. Back. Ha. And back. Right. Ha. And back. Good. Then I'm with the left. We're going to tap left, clap, and say ha. Left. Ha. And back. Left. Clap. Ha. Good. Now. We're gonna continue with how we're gonna ha. Repeat after me. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Good. Then let's blow some air through our lips. Air through our lips. Yeah. <coughs> Ready to blow some air through your lips. <coughs> Good. And again. I'm just taking a nice deep, deep breath in and release and a deep breath in and release. Good. Okay guys, so like I said, storytelling is the most ancient art form we have. And cultures going way, way back even to dinosaurs and what we call prehistoric times which was also um, before Christ, basically, told stories. Every culture in the world had some form of storytelling in the beginning. Native American and Latin indigenous um, First Nation and Native American cultures um, here in the United States with the power of storytelling, the past stories from generation generation, African culture, Asian culture, many, many cultures uh, use the art of storytelling um, to pass stories down from one generation to the next. So what we're going to do today is I want to take you back and imagine living in caveman times, right, prehistoric times, and right now there wasn't a written language. With only an oral language. Aren't you imagine that you're sitting around a fire with um, people that you are your friends, with your community, okay? And I'm going to show you a picture and I want you in first person to tell me what this is. Create a story 
think that you had on what this picture is. It's an and whether really are the three animals, they look like they're moving forward. So I might need to study this. Look at this right here, this picture. And create a story. This is something that happened to you. Tell it in first person. Um, share the story with your community. You're telling the story. So take this, you know, with them. Today I went up for a walk and I saw these animals. So really take this um, picture and really create a third person story around this picture. Okay, so. Or you will walk at this an animal that your your um your pet. What is this picture about? Take that and make it a first person story. And then get a three animals. And they they look like they're moving forward. They look like they're moving across the plain or across the land. What is this story about? Share that story. Read that. I want you to do that in first person today. And I was out walking. I saw the most amazing animal for the first time. But whatever that story is, create that story and tell that story. What happened? What is the adventure of the story? Okay, good. All right, you guys are going to go on to another one. So again, guys, what you're doing is you're letting the picture trigger your imagination, putting yourself in first person, telling this story as if it happened to you. So again, you're living truthfully in that imaginary circumstance which is what we talked about in the acting class before, what was it taking you telling a story as a character who is a cave, cave a, a, um, prehistoric man or woman? And they go on to another one. Um, what is this story? And so we have animals, and then we have um, people with look like bows and arrows, okay? For those of you, um, so I'm holding it, hopefully you can see that. What is this story? Who are you in this story? And tell me this story. Share this story. Share it out loud. What is this story? You're telling the, your family about what happened today. That happened to you. Share this story with your family right now. Imagine that you, you know, you're in the cave. <laughs> you're having d dinner. Maybe having them fried dinosaur. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is the food you you um hunted for today. Back then, they would hunt for their food and hunt animals to eat. So, what is this story about? What happened today? Share that story with your family. Make it very personal and very detailed. What's happened to you? Live truthfully in this imaginary circumstance. Good, okay, let's go on for another one. Our final one. Oh, I think we have two more. Right. So here's another one. You know, that, 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 you know what? This is a little bit hard to see, so we're gonna just go on to this one. Okay. So this is three, this is like three people, maybe a mom, a dad, and a, um, well, four, mom, dad, and Maybe two children. So, what is this story? What are you celebrating in this story? Create a story in an imaginary circumstance where maybe you're celebrating something. And what is that story? 
who are you? Right, which of these four are you? There's four um, figures on here. Which one are you? Create that story and see what is the point of view of this imaginary circumstance. Are you the dad? Are you the mom? Are you one of the children? Is it someone's birthday? What are you celebrating? Tell the story. Create a character from one of these four um, figures, drawing that you see, and create a character and a story and share that story. Share that thought. Live truthfully in this imaginary circumstance. Good, good guys, very good. So again, yeah, guys, you know, I wanted to share that, and I, I want to share things about the history of this art. I love acting, love and that. I love art. I love the fact that whether we sing or dance, or or do spoken word, or even write or draw. Some of you are also visual artists. We as artists, no matter what discipline, whether we're acting, singing, dancing, writing, drawing, um, our, our combination, because a lot of you guys are really good at more than one art. So we get to share stories. We get to talk, share with the world our culture, our lives. We get to happen and um, play, use our imagination, and um, play other characters to tell other stories. And I find that so exciting that, you know, with everything that's going on now in our world, there's going to be a lot of stories to share. And that's how, I think that's how we learn, we get to know each other, and we get to connect with each other through the sharing of stories. We get to learn about our past with the sharing of stories. And that's why it's so exciting to me. That's why I like to share history of our acting, of our art with you, so you know how rich our history is. It's not just about people who made movies or plays. Plays, you know, a few years ago, or Broadway, or movies a few years ago. Our history as artists goes way, 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 way back to ancient times, uh, to prehistoric times, the times when there were dinosaurs who were making art. And I just find that really exciting. And I really like to share that with you. I want you to be excited about the rich history we have as artists. And I hope you enjoy it too, guys. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.